Phytech throttle body EFI systems feature a new style ECU that has a remote mount relay and fuse block. If you end up with one of these new style ECUs and you're trying to install it on an existing throttle body, today on Phytech's Tech Tuesday, we're gonna walk you through the steps of how to install that throttle body ECU. When you go to install the new ECU on your throttle body, it is best to take the throttle body off of the engine and have it on a workbench. When you get ready to pull the system off, be sure to crack the fuel lines and relieve any fuel pressure in the lines prior to completely removing them. Once you get the throttle body disconnected and onto your workbench, you're gonna start by taking off the two float bolt covers. There's two Allen head screws on both the driver and passenger side of the throttle body that need to be removed. At that point, you can pull the side cover up and outward at kind of a 45 degree angle to get the injectors to come free. There is some wire management underneath it, so be aware of how all the wiring is routed in this area so when you put the new throttle body on, you can route the wires in the same direction. But once you get these covers off, you can disconnect the injectors and disconnect the idle air motor on the back of the throttle body. At that point, all of the wiring should be fairly loose off of the side and back of the throttle body itself. You'll then take the four screws off of the front cover plate of the ECU and pull it forward. You can then disconnect the throttle position sensor and find the ground behind the ECU and take that off. Now your final step is to take the connector off for the intake air temperature sensor and the ECU is off. The new style of ECU features a different IAT connection point, so the IAT will have to be removed and replaced with a newer one. And at that point, we're ready to install the new style ECU. You'll notice that the ECU that you received will come with a set of screws and a brass spacer with a couple of seals. The brass spacer and two seals is for the MAP sensor. The MAP sensor is located in the bottom center of the ECU and may need the brass extension to reach the casting on the throttle body. Be aware that not every throttle body needs this, so do not force the ECU on because that will damage the ECU board and that will not be covered under warranty. Put the ground of the ECU on, that's behind the ECU cover, and plug in the IAT. At that point, we can route the wiring both left and right for the driver and passenger side, just like the old unit that came off. Be sure that when you set the ECU on, you do not smash any type of wires. The ECU should sit flat on the throttle body cover. At that point, you can install the four screws that bolt on the ECU. Now you'll route your wiring back down each side of the throttle body like the old ECU came off. You'll plug in your throttle position sensor, plug in your idle air motor, and plug in your injectors. Use a little bit of grease or motor oil to get the injectors o-rings to push cleanly into the housing of the throttle body and the end cover and you could press the end covers back on over the injectors again keep in mind on the wire routing so we don't pinch anything when we install the bolts on the covers at that point you can install and tighten down the bolts on both the driver and passenger side covers and the ECU is now installed a key note of when you move into the new style ECU is that the ECU has its own proprietary software. This means that the older versions of software cannot be put into the new type ECU. With that in mind, you cannot move your calibration files from the old version to the new version. So if you're trying to retain your tune, be sure to go through your menu selections on your handheld and jot down any numbers that you changed or take pictures of those menus so when you install the new ECU and go through your initial setup, you can plug in all your parameters right away. If you need to obtain this new software, be sure to reach out to our tech department to obtain it. There are special software versions for each type of handheld, so be sure that you have your handheld with you when calling so they can ask you the questions to help identify it. 
At that point, the tech staff will email you that software and you can see videos number 53 on how to install that software onto your handheld. Please follow these instructions as closely as possible to ensure that you don't damage the ECU or its wiring when installing. If you have any questions during the installation, stop, call our tech team, and one of our associates would be glad to help you. I hope this answers any questions you have with installing the new style ECU onto your throttle body. If you have any additional questions, please comment them down below and visit our website, fitechefi.com, for additional tech videos.